All right, mm -hmm. uh, let's talk. Um, what are we, Meta here? So, okay, Meta, I think this is a really interesting report, and I think it further signals that the street likes what Mark Zuckerberg has to say. I mean, we punished Microsoft for the fact that their CapEx came in around $19 billion for the quarter. I mean, Meta is projecting almost $100 billion in, in spend for this year, and yet we barely blinked an eye because I feel like wow. somehow Mark Zuckerberg has been able to reframe, like, the casualty that has been their prior investments and their whole things, like yeah. Metaverse is... Yeah, the Reality Lab is losing, like, $4.5 billion. Still, every quarter, and we just brush on by it because the year of efficiency continues, and it, it's been amazing. It's like the magnificent meta, I feel like we should call it, because so far we've heard from a good chunk of the, these Max 7 names, but I think today is the most stark reminder that they're all very different companies because Alphabet, Microsoft, sure, I think I could align those businesses a little bit more closely, but meta is somewhat on an island there, and I think that that's why we're probably not seeing the same degree of punishment that we've already seen on like a Microsoft or Alphabet. Alphabet. And to give those names, or not to give them credit, but to sort of give Meta some credit is as far as like the AI build, it already exists in so many of these Microsoft products and actually Apple products and Amazon products and Alphabet products. But Meta is really ramped up its utilization of AI. I feel like you can even see it by using its platform. So I think that that was something to consider because all the analyst commentary were like, well, why did this name, why was this like the winning trade versus yeah. Microsoft earlier this week? I think because they're such different companies but yeah. as far as like overall some of these trends that they they highlighted i think there's a lot that could make you say this is a good sign for say like an apple and amazon i mean all in all this name continues to again surprise to the upside frankly as far as like its growth its ad spend also did give some of its ai spending some cover here as ad spend continued to rise i mean all in all ai's costs did surge in the quarter so it wasn't a, co yeah. a completely different narrative it's just somehow Mark Zuckerberg is able to do it again. Well, yeah, like 20% plus on the top line, pretty impressive stuff. The, all their core businesses seem to be firing off pretty well. And then I guess selling people on the notion of uh, Meta being kind of a search engine almost now, which is kind of interesting. That's really what their uh, llama does. The, mm -hmm. the, we were looking at it yesterday and playing around with it. You know, when you go to Facebook, it's you know, functions essentially as like a search. Now, all these things look so similar, all these companies, AI uh, assistants and stuff. I mean, you can barely tell the difference between them, but uh, you know, if the market, I guess, determines that it's still worth piling its money into, then, you know, uh, who are you to fight it uh, with uh, the company still churning out growth in the trailing year? It is, and I, to speak to Llama, they did say that they're going to need about 10 times more of the compute than what was needed to train Llama 3 for Llama 4, so they did say that the capacity will have to continue to ramp up, but guidance was maintained. I mean, I think that was also a big win, and again, I, I just think it's difficult to predict like how future generations will continue to use social media, but they have set the test of time. Sometimes yeah. I feel like we forget that this is just like, not to simplify it, but this is truly, I mean, WhatsApp, Instagram, yeah, Facebook. Millions of people. Million, and, billions. And, yeah. and billions. Yeah. And so like, as far as like ad dollars go, there's no platform that's ever made more sense to me than meta platforms. And yeah. I do feel like yeah. you, you see it, on, frankly, from using some of their apps, but. And they're still going up, by the way. That's what's crazy about it. They're Daily active users are up high single digits. Like it's just they're still growing. I mean, stops. it's amazing. So I yeah, they need to keep doing what they're doing. And as far as like guidance would make you think that they are going to keep doing what they're doing. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So Meta's going to be in really good shape here this morning. Uh, let's talk ARM for a second. Looking at the chips, uh, a little bit of a choppier trade there, uh, mm -hmm. but we kind of know this one is more volatile. It was getting hit pretty hard last night. Where are we at? Hit pretty hard on royalty revenue because if you just looked and zoomed out and just saw that the overall their top and bottom line beat estimates, I mean, they did see revenue climb Four, or, yeah, 40 percent from a year ago. They also exceeded forecasts pretty heftily at around 393 million. Expectations were for around 306 million, so not even close as far as like top beating overall expectations. Their top line did include though this 467 million in royalty revenues, whereas Street was expecting 492, and that that is what everyone is saying. I mean, it is is some of the weakness, which I think is so interesting. Now they did mention how important that licensing revenue is to 
their overall royalty business, which suggests that licensing performance can be an indicator of their future royalty performance. So they did mention that overall this topic did come up on their earnings call, and they said licensing is a very, very good predictor of future royalty growth. Yeah. So that's, for some reason, really tripping up the street because guidance was maintained again. And another th situation where... I would have said, hey, I mean, maybe the bar had been set lower. We've seen a decent pullback, but shares did also rise 8% yesterday. Here's the catch, too, is this thing trades at like 100 times earnings. It's 89 times its forward earnings, and currently, right yeah. now, it trades at over 100 times. Wild. All right, so this is why it swings around a lot. And uh, a big dip, I'm sure people are going to look at that and look at where the stock started, 50 bucks, and want to buy the dip. So we'll see what happens here today. Forward earnings almost double that in NVIDIA, which just in itself is, is ridiculous. Yeah, wow. All right, uh, good stuff. Thanks, Jenny, for taking us through the movers. Appreciate that.